So I was already dressed, like I'm like dressed because I know that I, I was going to like wear this dress out because I like the dress anyway. So I was like, I was dressed and like ready to go and then I checked for the bus time that's I could like go to the bus stop and guess what? Found out that the bus is not working today because it's the good Friday. Yeah, so like the schedule is for tomorrow, so I can't even. I mean, like, I could go if I have a car. Like, I could just drive myself there. The perks of having a car. But then, the gas, as I've heard, the gas was expensive. So. I was dressed. I was like, oh, yes, ready to go. But then I searched the bus, and I didn't. There's no bus today. It's the Good Friday. I'm like, most. I don't even think, like, most stores will be closed anyway, so. And that is that. So, no. Well, I guess. But, okay. Juma, I'm back. This, I'll probably edit this in a month's time. God, I'm tired. So I just finished Suat Hadid, which is the very, which is, which is at the center. Yeah, it's at the center of the, of the glorious prayer. So I was reading it and I saw, and I, and I, you know, sometimes when I read, and then I started um, reading like some meanings as well. So right now I'm reading the, um, the translations as well. Yeah, so I read. I read it like that because sometimes I just I don't know I just kind of like recognize some words and then I want to look in depth into like the meaning of it so like in the ayah 20 it says know that the life of this world is only play and idle talk and pageantry wow and boasting among you and rivalry and rivalry in respect of wealth and children as the likeness of vegetation after rain, whereof the growth is pleasing to the husbandman, but afterward it's dried up and thou seest it's turning yellow, then it becomes straw, and in the hereafter there is grief, grievous punishment and also forgiveness from Allah and his good pleasure, whereas the life of the world is but matter of illusion. And I read that and I was like, wow. And then I just I just started thinking about like how I, I mean I notice I don't I don't know. I like, I don't know how to explain it like a, yeah, I don't want to explain it in a spiritual sense, but then I was kind of thinking about like all this Illuminati and stuff like it's an illusion, like this word is an illusion, like in, in, in a state of dream like don't you just wish that when you sleep, you can remember what you dream of? It's interesting. Like, I, jo I saw that and I was like, well, pageantry and rivalry and um, illusion and it's only the all come up. I guess we <laughs> the real deal is the hereafter and I, you must do as much as you can in your capacity to be prepared to do you can you you should do as much as you can and in your capacity to be prepared for the next world which is the real deal yeah which is the real deal it's the real the real deal so, like it's almost iftar, you know, <laughs> this is iftar, yes. I always confuse iftar and suhoor together. 
So it's almost iftar, yes, it's almost iftar. So like seven more minutes. Even though it's like I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure like the sun has gone down. Because the thing is Margaret is, is at eight twenty nine and this is eight twenty two. So I'm saying oh it's like seven minutes before before I break my fast. Which I was saying in my other video that it's I like you can break <laughs> the sun down comes before even migrate, like it's already sun down. I'm pretty sure it should be like already sun down. Let me check. So yes, it is already sun down because I don't see any sun outside. But then, like I know, like to be as a precaution or just to be safe just to make sure that you didn't <laughs> you didn't break your fast actually before thinking that it's all the uh, sun had gone down and then like so people just wait until like so yeah so yes um people just wait until they are done for magri or whoever can like look up into the sky and be like oh the sun has gone down like some people can actually saw this like some people actually know how to how to look for this like oh the sun has just by looking at up at the sky. Kudos. I gotta learn. Get to learn. So yeah. I finished the half of the Quran. Now it remains the remaining half of the Quran. And the next surah for me to read is Surah to Wakia. Oh wow. Is that Wakia to the Wakia? Let me try this. I want to be like when I shy to an origin. This my life, my name is a walk out to the walk here. Let's all walk out to a casiba. Half is a tour of here. Is a root jettler, a little chair. Why be so jiba lobasa? Mombasa, you know, I, I'm I'm really in love with Mombasa. It, and I was like, there is it a city in Africa that's called Mombasa? Or is it a person? But anyways, Fakana to Haba and Mombasa, Akuntum Azuaj and Talata. Fasi Haba, my mana, Masi Haba, my mana. Was Habel Mashama Mas Habel Mashama was Sabiku no Sabiku who like Alamuka Fijan Fijan Nat and Nai So Latin Minala Wale So Latin Minala Wale no Akolilum Minal Hari Alas Roro Maduna the Kina Lay Alamuka called you know what's going on like when you are reading every ayah like it says la at the very end of the verse so I can't stop there and I have to like begin and like continue with the next ayah. And some and somehow like that for like three three verses and I'm like I need to I need to breathe. I need to breathe but yeah. Yeah, I think I have a pretty good voice to read the Quran. I wish that I could I mean wouldn't it be beautiful to be like an Afiza? I mean like the the amount of reward there and to have that agile memory like like agile memory like i i i saw some 
I saw some um, some like the competition in Dubai like the, so the competition in Dubai like um, where like the you see like all these young young people like Afiz and Afiza they be reading the Quran I'm like wow Aisha <laughs> I mean like the last time Asia yeah her name is Asia so she was with she, like I'm, I'm pretty sure it was last year. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Was it this year or last year? It's it either early this year or late last year. So the girl Asia, who is Nigerian, and she went to Dubai to like compete for the grand competition. I know USA come first, and the <laughs> the people from the USA that actually um, did the read the Quran there during the competition were Somali. Yeah, I think it was yeah, it was Somali, and then the Nigerian. I mean, we Nigerians, Nigerians came ninth positions, which is awesome. I mean, like yeah, any like any position there has to be awesome. Like, like look at me. <laughs> but any position in that competition is awesome. Whether you go first or last or even like beyond ten position, it has to be awesome. Can you imagine the person that even got eleven position or twelve position? Like the amount of dedication to put your mind through and actually memorize the entire Quran, the agility, the agility, the agility of the memory. Right? And this lady, like Asya, like the one that come from Niger came from Nigeria, she was pregnant then. Like she was pregnant, she came for the competition and I'm like, wow, like pressure upon pressure, like she read so well, and I was like, she read so well, I was like, wow, wow. I was like, when she came out at nine, I was like, wow, I thought she would have, like, I, well, I was, I, I, I was thinking that maybe she, like, she might even come up as, like, I don't know, second or third or first or, or like, any of this position, but she, ninth is just as great as any other position on the board, like, I was like, Oh, yeah, and yes, she was pregnant, and I was like, wow, pressure of pressure. Like, she was pregnant, she came for it, and like, and I'm like, <laughs> I just don't, I, I don't, I, it's just so amazing how she did it, like, how she came through. Yeah, it's so amazing how, like, I was so amazed, and it's so inspiring, but you know, it's so inspiring and I was so amazed and like God make it possible for every one of us and like the little that we do that Allah accept it from us. Wow. It's incredible. It's incredible. I was I was watching her read and I was like, wow, and she's even pregnant and I was like, Wow, girl, how did you do it? But it was beautiful. Her name was As. Her name uh, is Asia, or yeah, it was Asia, and if you, you know, oh my god, maybe I should like start say this now because I didn't say this before. But salam alaikum, and I hope Ramadan is going on well for everyone with everyone, and yes, so. I didn't say I, I didn't uh I, for some reason every every time I just pick up my camera I don't like I forgot I'm all about introduction I just and I just moved straight into it and start talking but salam alaikum and happy Ramadan I hope Ramadan is going on well for you yeah yes what I wanted to say is I don't know how, I I've realized this like a long time ago but Asia written backward is like Aisha like. A I S H A, but then you can if you read it if you write Aisha backward it's I Asia. And I like like I read I write my name like Aisha so like with, with the with the a T at the end or Aisha with the um, H at the end, but then Aisha like if you write Aisha backward it's like A 
each. <laughs> this is so interesting. Aisha, Asia, so A H S I A. So it's Asia. Like like the iconic people and the both Asia and Aisha are iconic. Iconic. Iconic in like um in Islam. I don't want to say like in Mohammedan or Musa like you know, but then yeah, they're iconic. And it just so amazed me how like written the name backward spell out the uh, written the name out backward uh, no, writing the name back will spell out the other one. So, hmm. Interesting. Is there a link somewhere? Is there a story somewhere around here? But anyways. Oh my god, um, I've been talking so much that it's past. It has even passed uh, my grief and I've been talking so, so, so much that I forgot that I'm about breaking past. Like it's 9.34 right now and I'm supposed I was supposed to break my fast 9.28. So I'm gonna go and break my fast and then I'm going to do my grip right away. Because if I break fast and I start and I ate, then I will cut uh, then I will be so lazy and I'll just keep putting off like oh I'm going to do my grip like in 10 minutes and then that's how it goes. I mean I, I still ended up praying it at this at the right time. But then like it's just better if you if once you hear the Adan, you just go and pray. Cause if you feel like oh ten minutes I will go, ten minutes will turn to twenty minutes and thirty minutes and so on. So I'm going to go back my fast now. I don't have fruit, so I'm probably going to just yeah, I finished my fruit. So I'm just probably just going to use Zamzam water because it's the it's the closest to me now. Now I'm going to go make some things for me to eat with. But I'm going to, yeah. You know, I'm going to show you my delicacy. It's really good. I think you can, you should try it. If you have time, it doesn't even take that much time. So I'm going to show it to you. Like, I put my food in the fridge and it's come out frozen. Like, literally frozen. So... You don't need so much for this. Like I cooked this, I guess um, four days ago, four days or maybe last week. I don't know. So it's almost finished. So I'm gathering my rice, my rice. You know, I should probably take a lot for suhoor because i don't want to do this again i'm going to put some more for <laughs> guys i don't eat that much so i'm going to put a lot in so i can save some for soon <laughs> and I, oh, okay my rice is officially done like i have only enough for another plate yeah, I have only enough for another plate, so after this, it's officially done. I'm going to add this. It's spicy, very spicy, actually. So I'm using my dragon. Yeah, actually, I'm going to cut this. So this thing is spicy, like really. Don't even. I can't do this, like. Thank you. 